Hey guys, Shanker here. I hope you guys are well. Now guys, what I'm gonna do in this video is run through phone interviews. So guys, effectively all phone interviews are the same. They're all systematically a, they're very much a workflow when you come to realization. They're nothing uh, extraordinary. All phone interviews are effectively the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you the common questions that you'll be asked and then you can use this framework to base how you answer your phone interviews. So let's jump right into it. So the first one being around asking you why you applied for the role. Right, so the first one is why. So that's essentially what you can expect on the phone interview at the very start. So they'll essentially say, thanks for applying for the position. What I really wanted to do was understand a little bit about you and what it is or what made you apply for this particular role, right? So that is the very first question that you are going to get. So essentially what you're trying to do in that particular question is trying to assert that you are the expert person for this particular role. You are able to be plug and played into this spot and remedy whatever business problem that that organization is facing. So the next question that will follow on from that is, well, they'll want to work through your work experience, right? So the recruiter or the hiring manager will want to understand what it is that you're doing in your most current role and then most likely work through your last two roles thereafter that. So what you're trying to do is match what you see in that job description, right? So people get very confused when they see a job description. They're like, well, how can I apply for such a job when they're asking for so much? Now, what you don't realize is a lot of these hiring managers and organizations are trying to get bang for their buck. They're trying to find a unicorn, as we call it, and someone that doesn't exist out in the market, and they are trying to find that and put that into their business, an all-in-one individual, but there is never that all-in-one individual. So if you feel that you reflect about 60% of that job description, by all means, you should be applying for that job. So. What you want to really do is when you are on the phone and running through your work experiences, you want to keep that job description in mind because you want to be using keywords from that job description and matching it to your work experience. So you want to try and remedy whatever the recruiter's doubts are by making sure that you're saying the right keywords in that job description and matching it to projects or bits of work that you've done in your most current role or previous roles. So then that will ease the recruiter's mind. So after that, what will happen is this question. Why are you looking to leave? spelling wrong. So why are you looking to leave, right? So essentially what you want to try and do this, there's, there's essentially three reasons why people are leaving. Is uh, they have reached a ceiling, they are having issues with their manager or monetary. These are the three reasons that we know that people are looking to leave, right? Or you may be, you know, traveling overseas, but that's a whole different ball game. If you're local, these are the three reasons, right? So what you want to try and do here is you want to make sure that you are expressing to the recruiter, I am looking for my next challenge in the next role. I have come to a barrier in my learning or my growth and I really feel that this is the next step to my career to help advance and take me to the next goals of my career. So that's essentially the type of things that you want to do. You never want to let the recruiter know that you are leaving a bad situation. You want to mask it by something good and that's essentially how it all works. We all understand that there's reality and aspects to life that are just there. So keep that in mind. So after that, what will happen thereafter? It's going to go one of two ways. Either 
it will be a confirmation. And what, what I mean by confirmation is that they would like to then set up a Zoom interview or a face-to-face -face interview, or it will be no-go. And the reason that you have not got to the next stage, and that being to the face-to-face -face round, is you are unable to express your reasonings or your previous experience matched to that job description. You are unable to reflect previous work you had conducted that is similar to that job description or whatever the outlay that the recruiter has mentioned to you about that particular role. And that is essentially, guys, the workflow of a phone interview. Ta.